Today the topic of discussion is in W linked list will study how to insert a node at middle. Middle means any position other than beginning and end. You have to insert at any position other than beginning and end. So prior to this what we have understood we have understood how to create W linked list and in that we have understood menu how menu program is working fine. Then we have understood how to print element of W linked list. Then we have discussed just now we have discussed how to insert a node at the beginning. Now we'll discuss insert a node at middle that is at any position. So let's start. So as I've already told you that insert have already uh, insert also have a menu that is what do you want to insert insert at beginning insert at middle or insert at end so if you press 1 you will insert at beginning you will press 2 insert at middle press 3 you will insert at end since my job is for middle so I'll press 2 the moment I press 2 the ch will have to switch will have to I'll jump to case 2 and in case 2 I'm calling insert mid function I'm calling insert mid function and finally and and now you have a linked list now you have a linked list having five nodes suppose you want to insert at fourth position that is you want to insert a node at fourth position so if a node need to be inserted at fourth position so what changes will take place let's see let's see so what I uh, what I am uh, showing you the coding of insert at middle position that is insert at any point fine so at insert at middle position what we have created pointer temp and we have point created pointer current and I have initialized current with head but if I see the data type of these pointers are node 1 what is node 1 as I've already told you that when we create a W linked list we have already created a structure having name node there are three part one data two address address of next address of previous and we have created a variable node 1 that is structure variable node 1 and we have type defined it so by using type def what I am doing is that this node 1 is representing the entire structure that is by type defining it this node 1 is now representing the entire structure if I do not use type def then in place of node 1 wherever we are using node 1 node 1 node 1 we have to write this complete struct node so in order to simplify the code I have used node 1 whatever you want you want you can use a also that will become more easy that you will only use a instead of writing node 1 fine okay so finally what happened till now we have created a a pointer two pointers one temp one current and current is initialized with head so what is head here so you have a linked list having five nodes and the value of head is 100 so current will also have 100 so current will come here fine we have created two variable position and uh, variable i is equal to 1 so I have created a variable position and I have created an integer variable i is equal to 1 fine okay if you want to insert a node you have to create a node that's it. The, the simplest part is that if you want to create if you want to insert you will have to create a node fine so how, how you can create a node by using malloc I have explained you many times so what malloc will do malloc will create a node of size size of operator of node 1 what is node 1 having three part one data two address the moment I do this a node get created suppose I want to insert node at fourth position so what will happen a node will create it fine and the address of this suppose name of this node will be temp and suppose the address of this node is uh, 600 fine now I will ask user to enter the position now I will, I will ask user to enter the position no enter the position suppose user entered fourth so position will have four this four now I will ask user to enter the data in this node suppose data user want to enter is 15 so temp data will have 15 so 15 will come here now what will happen see this coding I have explained you many times I have explained you in no if you have seen my singly linked list I have explained you there also if you have seen my singly circular linked list I have explained the same coding there and again I am explaining I'll go to the while loop I'll check is position not equal to i plus 1 position is fixed position is fixed position is 4 fine is 4 not equal to i plus 1 what is i 1 plus 1 yes 4 is not equal to 1 plus 1 condition become true 4 is not equal to 2 condition become true what I'll do I'll update current current will have current next so what is current next 200 so current will move from this place to node having address 200 and I'll update I I'll become 2 I'll come out no I'll again check the while loop while position position is fixed 4 is not equal to I plus 1 what is I now 2 2 plus 1 4 is not equal to 2 plus 1 yes 4 is not equal to 3 condition become true I'll move inside and I'll update current current will have current next what is current next 300 so current will move from this place to this place and I will increment I I will become 3 will I come out of while loop no I'll again check the while condition is position position is 4 is not equal to I plus 1 what is I 3 what is 3 plus 1 4 is not is 4 not equal to 4 
Yes, 4 is equal to 4, condition become false. Now I come out of the while loop. So now when I come out of the while loop, I again check the condition. Is position, position is 4, equal to i plus 1, yes, i is 3, 3 plus 1, 4. Condition now become true. What I'll do, I'll, now I will make a connectivity. And I have told you many times to make connectivity of temp node first, then current, fine. So what will actually happen? Suppose if this node is taking, coming in between, so what temp will ask current, Cur temp will ask current that, first of all, I'll keep your address. And the address which you are keeping, give it to me, I'll keep because the node which you are pointing, you will not point anymore. You have to point me now. No. And I'll point to the node which you are pointing. Fine. So, see what is actually taking place. See what is actually taking place. That is temp previous. Temp previous will have current. What is current? What is current? 300. The address of current is 300. So, this node is started pointing this node. Fine. Okay. Temp next temp next will have current next. This is what I told you. Temp will ask current, give me your next address. So temp next will have, what is current next? 400. So 400 will come here. So this node is pointing this node. Finally, temp is pointing. The job of temp is finished. Now current will point temp node. So current next will, will have temp. So current next will have temp. What is temp? 600. So what will happen here? So 600 will come. 600 the moment 600 will come it will start pointing this node fine and this loop will this link will get broken and what next will happen current next will have temp so current next will have temp fine okay so current next will have temp fine current will have new value temp next what is temp next what is temp next 400 as we have already updated updated temp so current will have temp next what is temp next 400 so current will come to 400 here so current will come to 400 fine and now current previous this will have temp what is temp 600 so now this will have 600 so this node is now pointing this one so this link will get broken so hope you understood how the entire coding is taking place now my job is to tell you is this is the only way of doing this no there are n number of ways you can make a connectivity but my job is to tell you the connectivity part you your job is to understand understand the concept so if i show you the figures if i rub all these things all this rubbish and show you the correct figure so you can see now clearly very clearly that this current is now having this address this will have this address this and this both link will get broken fine so finally what will have 15 will come and take the position so if i see now the final figure you can see that 4 5 6 and 15 will come so 4 5 6 and 15 15 having address 600 will come and after that 7 and 8 7 and 8 so finally the structure you will get after inserting a node at middle is this one so hope you have understood what i was trying to tell you how to insert a node at middle of doubly linked list doubly linked list